Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, overdue update video. <clears throat> Last video I did was a walk around video, I believe, where I kind of just went over everything that's currently on the car. And funnily enough, I, when I reviewed the video back, I had told you guys I was going to say the prices of everything. And when I read it over again, I was like, wait a minute, I didn't even put a single price in the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and edit the description of the previous walk around video and give you guys the prices of the various pieces that are on the car, such as the Maxton body kit, the VS forged wheels, um, obviously my interior set. The spoiler, the rear diffuser, my Armitrix catback exhaust system, the whole thing. I'll go over all the pieces. But let's move on to what today's video is all about. And uh, you're probably wondering what is going on with my front bumper. Why on earth do I have all of these little blue pieces of sticky tape on the front bumper? And the reason for that is right here. So what I have here is a six piece front bumper kind of enhancement kit, if you wanna call it as that. And it's just black plastic. I decided to go with the back black plastic rather than the carbon fiber because of all the black plastics that I have on the front with the Maxton Designs body kit and also the full gloss black GTR emblem sorry GTR grill with the kind of distronic crystal style emblem as you can see I actually swapped that out since the last video because I knew that those pieces were going to match better with this grill and this emblem rather than the chrome one and these are pretty cheap so no biggie just to buy an extra one and having removed the bumper before it only took me like an hour to get the car up on jack stands and pull the front bumper off and swip out the uh, switch out the front uh, the front grill. So, yeah, these pieces here, these are all black plastic, like I said. And I actually only was really interested in two pieces from the kit. So these lower pieces, which actually fit. And I've already pre-marked this with masking tape so I have a really good idea. I'm gonna try and do this with one hand here. But I've pre-masked it with masking tape and I have the exact position where it kind of locks in. It has a very um, a very specific position that it wants to be in. It is actually shaped pretty decently. It contours to the bumper uh, pretty accurately actually. I think that most of this 3M tape is going to stick. You'll notice I do actually have um, proper 3M tape on here. I stripped off all of the Chinese non-branded 3M tape and used some of the 3M um, super strength bonding tape that I picked up from uh, from O'Reilly's. So this piece goes on the lower part right here which I think is going to look awesome because it kind of brings the front lip up into the bumper you know kind of merges almost together which I think is going to look really cool. Once you step back, obviously it's kind of hard to see because it's so close up. And then the other little small pieces we have here, and these are kind of, you see these on the new, I think these come on the new like GADM 3s and such, but these are like the little flicks that go somewhere on the side right around here. So not sold on these yet. I hadn't really intended on using them. Um, I kind of thought I'll just kind of see when I when I have these pieces on and I'll just kind of mock this up and see how I like it. I'm not really a big fan of stick on stuff, but this front bumper is so plain. You know, it doesn't have any of the aggressive pieces like the C63 bumper has with the additional trims here and here. Um, you know, like I say, it's very plain. So a little bit of a little bit of extra hot sauce might be a good thing. Uh, these pieces. Again, I already mocked this up, so I have the exact position for this, but it goes somewhere right around here. So it's almost like a, an eyebrow, <laughs> if you want to call it that, but it basically brings out the whole top area of the almost like fog light section, you would say, this lower grill. It kind of shrouds over the top of it. 
Um, I'm not sold on this. This is kind of a bit too big for me. I'm not sure if I really like it as much. So what I'm likely going to do is I'm going to install the lower piece that I first showed you. I'm going to install this one. And then, if I like, and I'm sure I will, like it once I have both of them staged up, I'm then going to install these little flicks on the side and see how I like it. I mean, these are just 3M tape, so there's no real commitment required if you don't like it. You know, 20 seconds with a hairdryer and I can prise it off, so it's no biggie. But yeah, I measured up on this side, the upper and the lower, so I have the exact corner points so that when I peel the 3M tape off, I'm going to try and do it the way that you would do with um, a spoiler, where you basically just have the edge of the 3M tape poking out. I'll just basically start to peel it and just leave the, the tape poking out of the edge so that I can then, once it's in position, pull that out and then firmly press it against the, the bumper. I won't be able to do that for the middle sections, but I'll certainly be able to do it for the long outer sections. You'll see I made the long one, kind of the outer pieces, one, one single piece of 3M tape to allow me to do that. So I could basically just peel it off in one strip. And then this side, I didn't yet mock up with the masking tape um, for this piece here because I'm not 100% sold on those. I know for sure I'm going to do the lower pieces and I'm maybe, you know, maybe going to do the little flicks. The big piece that goes on the top, I staged them up. I don't know. I might fit them. I might not. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the heat gun. I'm going to basically slightly warm the area before I stick it. I already washed the whole front bumper area with Adam's strip wash, which basically takes off any existing waxes or sealants off the paint to try and make it as unslick as possible. And I then used some um, Guyon surface prep, which is this stuff here. Ignore the masking tape that's stuck all over it. I just had those ready for um, just finding the position of the, the trim pieces. Um, but yeah, basically pre-wiped it with this panel prep, which is a really good uh, oil and grease remover. And then, like I said, I just masking taped up. I have my heat gun here, so I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to add a little bit of heat. And then I'm going to install this first lower piece. So I'll do the first piece together with you guys in real time. Because I feel like this is going to go pretty quickly. It's just peel and stick. And I already got... And that's a good position right there. I already got the piece, like I said. I already got this. Like I say, the corner point right here and right here. So I can't go too far wrong because I already have the corners figured out. And then I've also got the top leading edge here. Once this fits corner to corner like this, it really doesn't move very much. So it's not like you can go too far wrong with it. Um, yeah, definitely doesn't doesn't move very much. Just want to make sure that I get this in a as tight as a position as possible. I mean, that feels really good right there. I'm just moving my masking tape so that it shows me exactly where this is going to touch once it sticks. So that looks great. That's going to be perfect like that. I'm not worried about the pieces. I'm going to get this paint corrected and um, ceramic coated later, but just for the, um, for the installation stage, I'm not worried about that. So what I'm going to do, I'll leave you guys there for a second. I'm going to get my trusty heat gun out right here. And then, just bear with me a second, I'm just going to plug this in, and then we're good to go, there we go, sorry to keep you guys hanging for a second. Alright, so now what we're going to do, is we're going to 
Make sure it isn't too hot, it's not. I already wiped this area down with some of that guy on surface prep. So it should be really nice and kind of tacky almost. Yeah, feels like it's a little bit warm. The beauty of this is it's just 3M tape, so if this goes if this goes wrong for some reason, there won't be any tears because I can just redo it. But I'm just going to do the middle piece first, because like I said, this is going to be... You might be thinking, this is the easiest install ever, but it's like, yeah, but it's the attention to detail to get the, po the positioning as perfect as you can. And like I said, I replaced all the 3M tape with the proper stuff, and I custom cut this down so it was the right width and came just inside of the edges here, so you won't see it at all once it's on the car. Um, and that's, you know, just taking the time to do it properly. So I'm probably going to peel from top to bottom, I think. So I'm going to just get this top edge. I always find 3M tape can be fiddly to get it started. If this video goes terribly, this is not going to make it onto YouTube. So if you guys are watching this, or guys and girls, watching this and I guess it wasn't too terrible in the end once I watched it back I almost figured it wasn't even worth making a video on because I'm just peeling and sticking but I haven't really seen too many people running these these bumper trim pieces I'm just taking my time here trying to pick this edge of the 3M tape so as not to actually pull the 3M tape off the piece but I did install the 3M tape um, 48 hours ago because I wanted it to really stick great to this piece first. So I have this one started and I've left the little piece going out. There we go. Second piece went, went much faster. So there we go. So like I said, I've got this kind of started. Just kind of fold it so that it sticks out. The middle's already pulled off, so that's going to be that's going to be done. So pretty much now that I have it ready to go, give it a last little warm up just to get it a little bit warm. Don't want to melt anything, but a little bit warm. I've got those little pieces poking out, and then I'm just going to kind of go close here. I'm going to angle this. that it's close to the bumper here like so make sure that it's tight against it I'm also going to check underneath and make sure that it's uniform which it is that's the top one and then the worst thing possible happened because the bottom one actually uh, didn't tear the whole way across so I guess that would be a fail of my attempt to do the sneaky way of doing it. So that wasn't going to work. So what I'm going to have to do instead is the, the more ballsy way of just going at it. See my tearing method of trying to, trying to do that did not work out for me, so <laughs> having to do it the old fashioned way. I hope I haven't got too much in the way of the camera here. So yeah, as you can see, the uh, tearing off didn't work at all. It kind of broke on me halfway through. So with 3M tape, um, firm pressure, like really firm pressure, definitely helps from the outset when it comes to the adhesion so you really want to give it a good really good push um, I'm checking under here and the gap here that you can see is uniform across so I know that it's straight um, the clear the plastic along the top here is tight I do not see any 3M tape poking out so that's also a really good indicator that uh, 
the position is correct. And like I said, I'm going to um, I'm going to ceramic coat. I'm going to polish this with a little nano polish or a little one inch pad. I'll polish this black black trim, and I'll um, put some Christum serum uh, Christum serum light onto it probably once it's had a little bit of time to to set up. This should really be, I wouldn't get this wet for a week now that it's been this has just been stuck. So I just washed the car yesterday, which is why it's looking extra sparkly. Um, sorry, washed it this morning. I washed it this morning and um, I let it dry up and did the uh, guy on surface prep wipe down before I started this whole process tonight. This feels really good. Um, I'll give it a little tug test tomorrow. I'll just give it a pull and see and make sure it's not like super loose or anything. Once this 3M tape fully dries out, it does stick really, really hard. It's very good stuff. But the key with it is, is, is surface preparation. That's the absolute key with it. A clean surface that you've de-waxed and de-greased is going to give you, give you the great result, you know, like a perfect stick, so to speak. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty good. Like that's been pushed pretty good. So what we'll do is um, I'm going to remove some of this tape here and then we can step back and actually see this. So the majority of this video is actually me just sticking something onto the car, but that's okay. You know what, this is all part of the game, this is part of the modification stuff. I like putting parts on the car, it's always fun to customize it and make it your own. And uh, yeah, I've been waiting for two months to get these, two months. Anybody who orders parts and is looking forward to getting them, two months is a really long time to wait. All right, I've got all my masking tape off. So yeah, let's, uh, let's step back. I'm not even gonna, it's covered in fingerprints. I'm not gonna worry about how it looks straight away. Um, but let me see, let me see how that looks there. Hopefully the lighting isn't too terrible. But as you can see, basically looking from the front, it just adds to the splitter. It basically looks like it's almost part of the splitter. So there you have it. Both sides are now installed. Looking from this angle, unless I told you that I've installed something, you, you really wouldn't know. Um, it's a very subtle, which is kind of what I was looking for. Nothing too crazy, but just wanted to kind of, you know, uplift the front bumper a little bit and give it a little bit more aggression, some more angles. I think the nice thing about this particular piece is it doesn't stick out too far. It's kind of just inside of the lower splitter, which is the way it should be. I wouldn't, certainly wouldn't want it sticking out any further. And because it sits really low, it's nice and tight. It doesn't show any white beneath it. So the black all just kind of blends in. So you kind of have three layers. You've got this trim, you've got the bumper trim, and then you've got the Maxton Designs lower lip. So I do obviously, as I mentioned, have these really big pieces, which I'm just not sold on these. I think that if I go ahead and install them, I can see myself pulling, pulling these off in a week's time just because they're a little bit too kind of stuck on looking for my taste. I don't really like the side where it kind of meets the way you have the upward pointing from the lower piece and then you have this kind of flat edge to this upper piece. I don't know, to me that just doesn't look all that great. I'd prefer it perhaps if this upper piece here came to a point, you know what I mean? So if this, if this came to a point rather than being a flat straight edge so that the two points kind of met maybe that would be you know more aesthetically pleasing if this was a a point here too and then this piece kind of flowed from that piece instead of it sticking out so far probably that would be more to my taste but i may do these i hadn't originally thought i would do the little flicks but I don't mind them. The, the placement's going to have to be 
I'm going to set the camera up for a second. Yeah, the placement is going to have to be key. I certainly, I don't want it too high where it's like flying in no man's land. And I, I don't want it to be too low either. So I would think somewhere here would look quite okay. And the thing is, I'm not really going to see if I like this until I actually install it and step back from the car. So, I don't know what you guys think about that, whether that looks a bit weird. Having I know these are usually done in doubles. You know, usually you would... I've seen the, the you know the kits that you can buy, and usually, usually you have them as a pair, like so, like that. But the one on its own is all I have to work with. So I'm not too sure. Again, I really do fight the stick-on look, so I'm not sure if I'll do those. But this whole set was only fifty bucks shipped from china so it's just some cheap 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 parts nothing too uh too pricey so i'm not too um too disappointed that i'm only going to use the lower pieces because those were the pieces that i had originally eyed up as being the ones that i wanted and i think she looks great i think so you guys will agree let's just set you up for a minute I'll come on camera for a second. So, um, I had been thinking about doing the um, C63 style front bumper, but it's just, it's not really my thing to kind of do an imitation front bumper of um, a superior model. It can look good, I have seen it look good, but to be honest, without the, the wider fenders, you really do kind of lose a lot of the um, aesthetics doing the C63 style front end. And it, I don't know, to me it just seems a bit kind of imposterish trying to have a C63 front to it. Nothing against anybody that does it. I can definitely see why you would do it because it is a nice looking front end because you can basically swap out all of like the inserts that they have here into the carbon fiber pieces they have this separate inlay area here that you can swap out. The front splitters that you can get, the Brabus style one is nuts. It is crazy. It has these huge like diffuser fins in the middle and it looks like it would, could be used as a snow plow. Definitely looks super aggressive and I like it. But I think for this car, I just made the decision that um, I would stick with the, the stock bumper and just kind of work with what I had to work with. Um, so I know everybody does the GTR style grill, but honestly, it's in my opinion, I mean, it's the most aggressive looking and it, like I said, it's trying to make this front bumper look a lot, uh, a lot more aggressive. And that's basically the only, the only option I could find that I felt did that. Um, and then, you know, the Maxton designs front lip almost looks, I mean, it does look OEM. You wouldn't know that I added it unless I told you so because it matches the Mercedes trim and follows it so tightly. It looks like it was there from the factory. And I think now that I have these additional little aero pieces on the sides here, it does what I wanted to, which is to kind of bring this whole diffuser area up into the bumper some. Um, so we'll see, I, I, you know, I hadn't originally thought I was going to do those pieces, you know, as I showed you guys. You can probably see a little bit better now, actually, I've moved the camera back, but these pieces, I mean, the fitment is pretty good, you know, it looks like they fit pretty tightly against the bumper. Maybe somewhere, I have to find the exact position, it's very specific where this goes. When you know it, it's kind of, it just kind of sits perfectly against it, but somewhere around here, like that. You guys can probably see a little bit better there as to how it would look. Definitely would look super aggressive with this piece on, no doubt about it. But I think um, just at the risk of crossing that line, it's looking a bit too uh, a bit too stuck on, a bit too aftermarket. But I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep these pieces and see if I decide to try them in the future. 
I'm just going to rock the lower pieces for now and then I'll make a decision on if I want to try those and then the same goes for these little flaps we'll make a decision what you guys think something like that perhaps not too high, not too low just kind of in the middle kind of middle area something like that alright so there you go Probably like a half an hour video of me just sticking some trim pieces on, but um, you know, why not? I haven't seen anybody else making videos sticking these pieces on, and I was interested to get them and try them out, and you know, super happy with the fitment. You know, ignore the fact that the finger printed to death and need a good cleaning, which I'm not going to touch them whilst the 3M tape sticks up. But there is absolutely no daylight around them. There's no 3M tape exposed, and it's nice and even, as you can see, it follows nice and tight against the bumper, and it's exactly the same on both sides. So it's not one of those kind of janky, janky pieces that has 3M tape poking out of the edges and bits of daylight poking out. I mean, those fit great. You couldn't get them to fit any better. I mean, those are perfect, those lower pieces. So anyway, thank you for watching. Appreciate you as always. I'll have more stuff coming. And, you know, if I do end up installing those pieces at some point in the next uh, few days, if I think about it some more and decide to install them, I'll include them on the next video and, yeah, we'll see how they look. So thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys again soon. So I thought I was done, but I wasn't. <laughs> so I installed the uh, the little flicks. I decided it was a good time to do it because I already prepped the bumper, like I said, with Adam's uh, strip wash to make sure the bumper was de-waxed. And so it just made sense. I was like, if I'm going to put them on, now's the time. They can all dry and cure. Um, but I test fitted them and decided I actually really liked them better than I did just test fitting them on their own but once I had them with the lower pieces you can see here from the front how the gloss black kind of picks up together because the angles are kind of similar so the gloss black kind of reflects nicely off of them so it's just a little bit a little bit extra I am definitely leaving off those really big pieces those just don't do it for me I don't think so this is going to be it with the uh a little flick on the side some people may not like those some people might love them i mean it's just fun isn't it i mean why not might as well have some fun with it i definitely like the front angle the best though this is the money maker right here take a look at the the front with the new pieces on it looks super clean all right for real this time for sure this will be the end of the video i'll definitely get a nice cinematic in the coming uh, uh days maybe a week i'll take it and get some nice video footage outside and uh, yeah, thank you all for watching again. Speak to you soon. Bye. So it's the next day. I pulled the car out of the garage, brought it over to somewhere with much better lighting, somewhere nice and quiet, so I could get a little bit of a walk around of the front so we can see how she looks with the new trim pieces installed. I think right off the bat, you would agree, it definitely doesn't look out of place. I think it looks like it complements the front bumper and the pieces that were already installed. You know, the Maxton Designs front lip and the aggressive black GTR style grille. I think they all work really nicely together. It kind of looks cohesive having all the gloss black pieces on the front. And especially with the wheel turned like this and the black wheels matching up so nicely with all of the black on the front of the car, I think it just fits together really well. I'm very pleased with the choices with the black pieces on the front. And there's really not much else that I can do to the front bumper now. I mean, the grille is changed out with the emblem the front splitter pieces have been changed out. I've added the front lip, and now I've added these two stick-on uh, 
trim pieces. It already has the um, upgraded, upgraded optional adaptive LED headlights from the factory. And yeah, I mean, there's really not much else I can do to it to really improve the look. And I think it's good. I'm really pleased with it. No regrets with adding the pieces. I think from the front, it definitely gives the illusion of a wider front end because these flare pieces kind of kick out. They add to the width of the front bumper so you get that wider appearance, which helps because, you know, obviously this is kind of the stock. I say narrow body, it actually has quite nice flared fenders for a non C63, you know, it has some nice rounded uh, stock fenders. But the bumper definitely needed some help. You know, it's a really plain looking bumper from the factory. So adding the pieces that I've added, I feel like has definitely done a lot for the car in the looks department. <clears throat> and obviously with my windows down, you can see the performance seats, which I've covered these in a previous video. Definitely go back and check that video out. I did a whole swap on this car. I took out the stock non-performance interior and I gutted the whole thing, swapped everything out. So, this car's had some pretty drastic, <laughs> pretty drastic changes from where it was. From its humble beginnings, it now is uh, pretty dressed up. From a, you know, a very plain C450. I wish I'd picked up the camera from day one when I got this car a few years ago, and then it would have been nice to do a real, you know, full journey, because I have been through some other sets of wheels and uh, yeah, just done some other modifications along the way that I didn't catch on camera. But I'm glad it's, you know, better late than never. At least I have some record of all the stuff I've been doing. So there we go. That's the front bumper trim piece video complete. A nice little look outside here. I think is much better than in my garage. Uh, one thing that I did notice is just the huge difference it makes taking the video with the iPhone camera on the 4K setting compared to my GoPro camera on the 4K setting. It still comes out much better on the iPhone. I think the camera technology is just that much better. So who knows, I might have to buy a dedicated camera if I get more interested in the YouTube videos and uh, yeah, try and put out even better video content in the future. I do have more exterior modification stuff in the pipeline that I plan on doing. I'm not gonna give it all away and say what I have in mind, but I do have more stuff planned. <clears throat> and that will be, you know, for the coming months, hopefully. I'll continue to add parts this year. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate anybody who considers subscribing. Hopefully my content keeps on improving and I keep on bringing some good stuff for you guys to watch. And yeah. Once again, super pleased with the bumper install or the bumper upgrades. I think she looks really good. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you all again very soon.